Linda was asked during a telephone interview where she'd first met Paul. I met Paul at a club in London. The bag of nails, to be exact. I met your mum in May 67 in a club in London called the Bag of Nails. Some other people had walked in and they sat not next to our table but the one beyond it. And Paul of the Beatles was with that group. And the band was Georgie Fame and, and the, the Blue Flames. They were really hot. It was fabulous. I looked over and I saw her. I thought, well, she looks good. Our eyes met and it was one of them. We kept looking at each other. So I thought, right, here goes nothing. I stood up. He sort of mingled over my way and started talking. I sort of said, oh, hi, uh, oh, there, my name's Paul, what's yours? You know, she said, oh, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Did you learn a lot about her that night, that, like, that she was a photographer? Didn't really get too deep into what she was doing. I knew she was a photographer. When I was in London, I took my portfolio over to where the Beatles had their office, and I said, I'm desperate to photograph the Beatles. A few days later, the assistant said to me, Brian loved your photographs. In fact, he loved them so much that he's having a little press get-together for the release of Sergeant Pepper. You can come to that. She was one of the only people who got into uh, the launch of Sergeant Pepper. She took a couple of good pictures mm -hmm. of uh, the Beatles. You remember that one of me and John doing a big sort of, ha-ha. Yeah, shaking nice hands. Nice picture. I mean, one of the first things I noticed particularly was the way she held the camera. She had a sort of way with these very long, slender fingers. There's a picture of me looking up at him and it went out in the wires. That was the first photo taken of us. Mm. American photographer Linda Eastman, seen chatting to Beatle Paul McCartney. And then after that I went back to New York. Thought, well, probably never see each other again. And she just kept, like, coming back to me, and I thought, in my mind, mm. I thought, she was great, she's special, I really like this one, you know, I keep thinking about her. We hooked up in L.A., I was out there for some record company thing. We met at the Beverly Hills Hotel, had a great time. A dirty weekend. There was some sound of mum sort of saying, oh, Lenny, phone me up, and we went out for a dirty weekend. Dirty weekend. <laughs> she's very honest, see. <laughs> Somebody said, do you want to come on my yacht? It wasn't exactly a great yachting cruise. He was tacking endlessly <laughs> in this terrible little canal. You know, oh my God, sorry about this. I brought you on this not very cool cruise. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. All your life. We talk about music, photography, art. It was a good thing we had in common. And she had a daughter from a previous marriage. She was Heather. We'd always have something to talk about, even if we were tacking endlessly to get out of mm. L.A. And then I got a phone call, and it was first saying, why don't you come to England? Hang out for a bit. They were doing the White Album. Just come, just show up. I said, show up? Oh, that's fine. I don't know you'll be there. I said, anyway, I'll think about it. <laughs>